Hey, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back with another Genshin Impact video. So, update 1.5. All that good stuff. You guys are enjoying the building videos, so we're going to keep going with them. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can pretty much get a bunch of the realm currency uh, by increasing your adeptal energy. Before we jump into this video as well, be sure to support this video with a like. If you guys want to go enter the 10,000 Primal Gem giveaway, uh, join the Discord, go to the Genshin giveaway channel, and you can enter there for free. Um, with that being said, let's jump into it. So, I guess the number one thing right now is people just not having enough, I guess, money. I guess another thing people are running into is not having enough space to put the items you want. So, right now, early on, in the early stages of 1.5 with the building update, a lot of people probably are quite low level, right? um and they probably got quite low adeptal energy now my adeptal energy i would say is somewhat high it's 7080 and i think we're on like the third or fourth day now um but yeah increasing this is super important because uh, what this basically does is allow you to get more uh coins per hour now getting more coins means you can pretty much buy more blueprints uh build more items and that's essentially it so what we're going to be doing in this video i'm going to be showing you a little farm thing you can do to basically increase your i guess um what is it called here the i keep forgetting the, name, the adeptal energy um this is going to be an adeptal energy farm that you can do uh quite early on in the game to increase your yeah just get it higher so you can be earning more money per hour because if you can get it to like 30 an hour and you just leave the game for like a day you'll be good for like a while trust me so um yeah the items you're gonna need are these statues here i think you get these statues from fuck what is it i think it's like level two or three let me check here it's level one it's not level one i think it's from completing something on level two i'll find it i'm gonna find it for you guys right now it's level three level three okay uh once you reach round three on the book right here you gotta place three different furnishing sets so you can make three sets and you're given this four star furniture piece now the very cool thing about furniture that a lot of people don't know is they have a adeptal energy value to them so purple items like this one are gonna give you uh i think it's 90 pretty sure it's 90 yeah they give you 90 and i think yeah that's the highest you can get in the out of all the furniture now uh, here's another important thing as well. It's called the load. Now, the load is how much items you can have in one area. Um, obviously, outside is all one shared area. So, basically, what we're doing is we're making a bunch of these statues and we're basically just putting them down. These are really easy to make. They're literally just ore. So, you just have to farm ore to make these. Um, you can also make any other purple items really easy. So, basically, what we're doing, we're just basically putting... A bunch of purple items on i think this is one of the smallest early purple items you can get which is why i'm building the statue uh but each one of these statues is giving 90 uh to my adaptal energy now why does that even matter right obviously like i said the more adaptal energy you get the more uh this number in the top right is going to go up so basically as you can see as we put more down it's going to go up by 90 each time and it, like i said early on when you're just trying to get this up this is the best thing i think you can be doing and then when you have enough money when you're ready you can actually start building your actual item here so you can see my load just went to red which basically means i'm full and to basically make this go down you do need to like store like other items like trees and stuff like that um but eventually what you want to do is you kind of want to just have the whole island just purple items i know it doesn't make sense but we're basically just trying to get this adaptal energy up just so we can farm the coins it's not to make the island look pretty i know the island's probably gonna look doo-doo while you're doing this but if you can get this adaptal energy up just farm coins and then you can eventually buy the blueprints craft them and then you can get the items that you want now i'm going to show you what you can do inside as well so What's very uh, interesting about the inside is the different rooms are actually separated. So here's an item you will actually need. It is... Let's go to it here. By the way, any purple items work best. It's just these are the smallest purples items I've found. And the smaller the item, 
uh, the more of them you can put down. So that's why we're making these small ones. So this one here, um, the pine folding screen, the billowing sails. Now you will need a lot of pine wood for these. Unfortunately, I am making like three of them right now. So we're just basically going to, we're going to get these now. I'm not waiting 10 hours for these. Get these now. And like I said, each one of these are going to give 90. So you can sort of see where this is going. Okay, I'm just going to cut in here real quick. I forgot to mention in this video, make sure you are buying the Vial of Adeptal Speeds. Uh, you can buy five of these per day. Make sure you're buying five a day because uh, if you're not buying five a day, you're just losing out. These are probably the most valuable resource you can be spending your coins on. Okay, back to uh, the video. I saw I saw a video earlier today of someone calling this their, their Bitcoin mining uh, room in their house. And I'll show you guys what that means so uh yeah the house is probably not gonna look pretty as hell because i'm basically just putting a bunch of these down so it's in this room here so yeah we're basically just gonna be filling this room with these and this is this is our this is our bitcoin mining room as you can see in the top right there our adeptal energy is going up like so and that's pretty much it so we got 600 from just this room, 600 from just this room with one, two, three, four, five, five of these. And then obviously this room is 630. Uh, upstairs is 150. We don't really have anything up here. And then the main room is 1,280. And if you didn't know, the load, as you can see here, is actually separate from the rest of the house. So this room has its own separate load. This room has its own separate load and so forth. So you can kind of see where this is going. Um, stacking the items inside, I think is going to be better than doing outside because outside will inevitably be full eventually and there's not much you can do. So maybe you want to start with just doing inside. And as you can see here, we've put these down and then we just save it. And then we basically just go outside and this value will be added to our main value. So as you can see there, from me basically, basically uh, just doing this whole video, we've already gone up like 300. So we're at 7,300 now. And you can kind of see where this is going. Basically, just make as much purple items as you can early game and put them down. And then when you're happy with the amount of money and stuff that you have, head over to Tubby and buy the actual furniture that you want because there's a lot of cool uh, furniture that you can get from Tubby, like the purple items. Um, I think the first thing I bought when I got a lot of money, which was... Um, where was it here? Yeah, don't buy the furnishings, buy the blueprints, like I said um as you go down here you can see all this stuff here so look at all this cool stuff but it's super expensive it's like 240 for one purple item so yeah i think i i have bought one of them it is this one i bought this for 240 kind of regret doing it because i should have just yeah but that's pretty much the best tip i can give you guys is uh Put as many purple items down as you can. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yep, your island's not going to look pretty for the next few days. But you're going to be earning a bunch of coins. Like 30 coins an hour max you can get. So you can kind of see how much you're going to, like coins you're going to get. And it's just going to be nuts. Also, pets are quite a good investment to buy. Because pets give 100. And I think you can have as many pets as you want, like out in the open. So if you have any pets from uh, the wandering dude over there, buy them and put the pets down because the pets give 100 and I think they take up the least amount of space but the only problem is they cost 100 um, realm currency to buy and you kind of want to be spending that realm currency on the actual items you need um, whereas if you just do these these just require ore and obviously time uh, but hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure if you're not already you're subscribed to the channel and also go and follow me over on twitch guys twitch.tv forward slash willis gaming tv we stream friday saturday and sunday um if you're watching this video i might even be live if it's friday saturday or sunday so check it out we have a really cool system on the channel where you can actually earn primo gems welcome moons battle passes from watching me earning channel points and you can basically redeem them in the twitch store that we have it's really freaking cool uh but other than that go into the 10k giveaway and i'll see you guys in my next video peace